my YouTube. It's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, Bariatric Badass, Blessed and Release Baby, The Girl That Needs Some Botox, and The Stranger You Haven't Seen in a Hot Minute. Also, why is it so hard to make YouTube videos now? This is like my fifth try. I don't understand it. I used to do this like uh, second nature. All the days, every day. Now, I can't get it together. <sighs> anyway, hi, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to take you along on another journey. If uh, First of all, watch the end. I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you want to hear about that, listen through maybe five to seven minutes of me giving you an update on my life. So I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy seven and a half years ago today. Can you believe that? That's kind of crazy. Mm, I have maintained a 170 pound weight loss. Um, the lowest I had gotten down, I had lost 202 pounds at one point that lasted for like five minutes. And then I've gone back and forth between, you know, like 165 and 185 in terms of how much weight I have kept off. In December of 2020, I had plastic surgery with Dr. Timothy Katzen in Beverly Hills. I had an extended abdominoplasty and muscle repair. I had um, a torsoplasty and I had breast lift, lift and implants. And I will put a picture, I'll put a before and after picture at the end. I took a, um, I was on vacation in Curacao in the Caribbean recently and I wore a bikini and I'm still fluffy AF, but I don't hate how I looked. So I'm going to put a before picture and that picture um, in this video somewhere if I can figure out how to do that because I can barely figure out how to make a YouTube video. <sighs> I made videos for a very long time, every week, probably at least five years, I would think. At least four, maybe five. Um, and then I stopped and then life got complicated and then there wasn't that much to talk about. And then, um, but now I'm getting back at it because here's where I am today. Um, one of the things that those of us who have had BSG have learned as we've gotten further and further out from our surgery is that there is a complication um, from that surgery, which is reflux, pretty serious reflux. So I know in my world of BSGers that there are several people who've had revisions lately because of reflux. And I am joining that crew. If I would have thought this is coming, I probably would have held off on plastics a little while, but I didn't even know that what I was experiencing was reflux until, um, until after I was recovering from plastics. So I always thought of reflux as when acid comes up. Um, and I used to have that a lot before weight loss surgery and then occasionally after weight loss surgery. What I did have all the time was this feeling of liquid coming up in the back of my throat, which caused this cough, like a constant cough, constant, um, like clearing my throat, waking up in the middle of the night with this dry hacking cough out of nowhere. Come to find out, uh, that's reflux. So, um, it's gotten considerably worse over the past six months and this week I went to see a bariatric surgeon for the first time in all the days. Um, I had my surgery at Kaiser. I no longer have a Kaiser. I have different insurance now and I hadn't been, I mean Kaiser had stopped tracking me annually a few years ago so I hadn't been to the bariatric surgeon probably in three or four years. So it was weird to be there. It was weird to be there with all the people who were getting ready to have surgery. It was, um, I don't know, it was a blast from the past, sort of. Um, one thing it did, uh, one of the things that I've been, been experiencing a lot lately is this sense that I failed at weight loss surgery. And it was helpful for me to be in an office where both the nurse and the doctor were 
you're a huge success from your plastic surgery. You've kept off more than 65% of your excess weight, which is very rare over a long period of time. So that made me feel a little bit better. But I don't like the number I'm at now. I don't like the fact that some bad habits have crept back into my life. I don't like the fact that between COVID and recovering from plastics, exercise that was a very important part of my life isn't anymore. Um, all those things. So, uh, but now I'm on, on the road to revision and I wanted to make YouTube videos again because I don't think we hear enough from the people who, I think we hear a lot from people in the beginning of their journey and less as time goes on because it's not as it's not as exciting it's not as much part of our daily life as it was um, in the beginning but I guess I'm going back to the beginning a little bit and I wanted to share that journey with you all the first step is to get an um, endoscopy which the bariatric surgeon himself does um, because he says that uh, if he outsources it or sends it out that they people don't really know what to look for in bariatric patients. So that's the first step, but he says it's, yeah, it's not, it's the only thing that resolves this is a revision to an RNY, and it shouldn't be a problem for insurance to cover it because it's a complication from the original surgery. So I will not say, or I can't say that I'm not happy that I will be getting a little bit of a reset. I think that's, um, I think I'm excited about that. So. So we're back on the YouTube journey. I'm no good at making YouTube videos anymore, so I'm gonna do a giveaway. Um, post your questions below. I'll take those questions in next week's video because I don't even know what you guys wanna hear about. Um, it's been so long since I've made these. I don't know how to come up with content. I will get back in the mode of it. Before start, do that and I'll do a drawing um, and we'll announce it when I make the video, when I make the video next week. Um, who the winner is for a $25 Amazon gift card. I'll do a random drawing of the people who post questions below. So let me know what you guys are doing. From a personal perspective, I moved. I moved to Rancho de Cucamonga, Rancho Cucamonga from Huntington Beach. Um, Huntington Beach was getting a little weird. And the person who owned my condo was selling it, and I decided to give it a try out here. I love it. It's much... It's just like a much more mellow vibe. I love my new house. This is the dining room. Um, and I live close to a friend, which is nice. I don't think I've done that in a very long time. Dale Cooper has gone to live with my son Ian uh, and his girlfriend in LA. They have an apartment in West Hollywood. They're both going to college and working full time and seem pretty happy. Um, I have a new cat. I thought he would make an appearance, but apparently he's not as, um, he's not as fame hungry as Del Cooper, but the new cat is Leonardo DiCaprio, and he looks just like Del Cooper, except he has little white feet. Okay, I think I covered the important things, right? Uh, yeah. I'll keep it quick because this is like my fifth round at trying to make a video. And hopefully this one will record correctly, but I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to see you guys. Let me know what's been going on. And um, also let me know if maybe you're interested in doing a live with questions, because maybe I would do that too. Because uh, I miss y'all. I miss talking to y'all. All right. Have a great Thursday and a good weekend, and I will talk to you later.